Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is a quick update video regarding the Jumper T-Lite radio controller, which I have recently reviewed. As you may know, before releasing the T-Lite, Jumper stated that due to power limitations, the maximum supported output power when using an external Crossfire module is 100 milliwatts, which is not ideal, but something that we might be able to live with. But later on, after releasing the radio controller, this statement was changed to 25 milliwatts, which made things even worse. While on my previous video I showed you a possible solution, which is to use a USB power bank in order to externally power the radio module using its USB Type-C connector, this is not a very elegant solution, and on top of that, since you are not able to monitor the battery level of the USB power bank using the radio controller, it can cause issues in case the power bank is going to be depleted. So in this quick video, I'm going to check whether a high quality lithium ion battery cell is going to solve this issue, and also show you a simple do-it-yourself solution. Let's start with the first option. According to Jumper, the main reason behind the 25 slash 100 milliwatt output power limitation is that they were afraid that the user is going to use inferior lithium ion battery cells since the minimum walking voltage of the radio controller is 3.5 volts and the minimum walking voltage of a lithium cell battery is 2.7 volts. So when using inferior cells, the battery is going to drain faster especially when using a higher output power, which in turn can cause issues and lead to unstable results. That's the reason Jumper told me that when using a high quality lithium ion battery cell such as this one, which by now I've been using for a while and I can attest that this is a very good battery, the output power limitation is going to be removed. And in order to test it out, I set the output power of the Crossfire Nano radio transmitter to one watt. I turned off dynamic output power and tested it for 10 minutes. As you can see, after 10 minutes, the output power was still around 1 watt, and as far as I can tell, the radio controller was still functioning properly. The second do-it-yourself option, which seems to be working, but because I haven't fully tested it, I cannot recommend, is to connect a USB Type-C cable in the following manner to the main board of the radio controller, so it is going to be directly connected to the 1S battery, and then you can use the USB Type-C connector, in order to power the module externally. After conducting more tests using both options, I found that even when the battery was fully charged, without being powered externally, when set to 1 watt, the radio module didn't function properly, so I encountered glitches. However, when being powered externally using the 1S battery, the module seems to be working fine, which is kind of surprising because according to the user manual of the Crossfire Nano TX, the minimum input voltage when being powered externally is 6 volts. Having both options tested, I still recommend that in order to stay on the safe side when setting the output power to more than 25 milliwatt on an external Crossfire module, make sure that the battery is fully charged before using it. And I also recommend that you shouldn't exceed 250 milliwatts, which anyway is probably going to provide you with enough range. Anyway, that's going to be it for this quick update video. I hoped that after watching all the other reviews, including mine, it helped you to make up your mind whether the Jumper T-Lite is a good option for you or not. And keep in mind that I still stand behind my initial recommendation. In case you are a mainly Crossfire user, get the TBS Tiger 2. And in case you are mainly going to use the internal multi-protocol radio model, the Jumper T-Lite is a valid option. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope that you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos, and goodbye.